Hello and welcome everyone to this De Niro Love Letter. Very excited to be here again with my beautiful friend, Andrina Grinberg. Hi, Hi Andrina, how are you? Very good, thank you. Good, and we're joined by another good friend, Vic Aladef. And uh, Vic, have, of course, has been uh, part of the Jewish Board of Deputies. Uh, now he's with SBS. Um, and he is just one of those people that you, you know, can't help hearing about. But also, when you're meeting face to face, it's just going to be a wonderful conversation. So we're here to talk about a play that he's very much involved in. And we're also here, Andrina, to talk about what's happened in the last week, because well, so much has happened. The world's upside down. The world is upside down. And I think if we just look back at the last seven days since our last love letter, uh, literally last Thursday, the um, Eastern Seaboard of Australia is basically underwater. We have Russia invading Ukraine. We have all sorts of things happening all over the world that it's almost like in the run up to Pesach, we're getting all of those uh, things that are about to happen. I'm going to put some lamb's blood over my door. But um, this love letter, we are actually focusing a lot on Ukraine and the Jewish community in Ukraine. Obviously, the president is Jewish and we're very proud of him. And he's very outspoken as well. So we will touch on food in Ukraine. We will bring you a lot of different articles. But um, just so this love letter is not all doom and gloom, Vic Aladef, you are literally one of the backbones of this community here in Australia, especially. You have some exciting news coming up in the next couple of weeks with Moira Blumenthal. I do indeed. Uh, thanks, Andrea, and thanks, Ilan. And what it's about very briefly is that 1938, one year before World War II, Mussolini passed a whole series of decrees against the Jews of Italy, which included at the time the Greek island of Rhodes. That's when my father was born. And so when that happened, there were 4,000 Jews living on Rhodes at the time. Half of them decided to leave for the United States, South Africa, and Rhodesia, as Zimbabwe was then called. My father was one of those who decided to leave. The issue was he was engaged to be married to a young lady named Becky. His aim was to bring out Becky, his you know, sisters and his, and his parents. They weren't able to leave, and they were among the 1,700 Jews who were sent from Rhodes to Auschwitz. My father's parents, my grandparents, perished at Auschwitz, his sisters survived, and what happened to Becky? He was told that she had been killed at Auschwitz. She was told he had been killed. Half a century later, he overheard her name. And that right there is the synopsis of a play which I have written. And how that came about was you mentioned Moira Blumenthal's name. Moira, a well-known theatre producer, director in the community. And Moira contacted me two years ago. She had heard about my father's story. She said, I've heard about the story. Why don't you write a play? So I said, I'll have a go. And that's what I have done. Fantastic. Vic, we've had Moira on Danira several yep. times during workshops. Um, and she's just fantastic. Now, the play, as far as I understand, it's divided into two acts. Yeah, is that right? There's, uh, there's yeah. A... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, no. How, how's that for a Jewish answer? <laughs> <laughs> there are two parts to the evening. The first part is, right. is just my play. And, and I have to not over over hype it. it it's a dramatized play reading it's a minimalist production the second half of the evening is a separate entirely uh, production about letters between a jewish refugee from uh, germany to south africa letters between him and a former nazi officer uh, letters between the two of them so that's a totally separate production yeah. and the whole evening is called letters from a troubled past that's correct. Vic, really, really looking forward to it. The characters sound really interesting there as well. Now, isn't it wonderful that in De Niro, you know, in these times of doom and gloom, as you said, Andrina, that we can highlight um, some positivity that comes out of it um, because it's very important to see that. And indeed, you know, the uh, Ukrainian uh, President Zelensky being one of them. Um, and indeed, out of the Holocaust, we get these incredible stories, Vic. Um, of survival, of people meeting up years later, of, um, you know, our, our nation, our, our people um, coming together in ways that you'd never expect through tragedy and whatnot. So, yeah. Indeed, and an extra component to the above is the fact that, because for obvious reasons, the focus on the Holocaust in this country is mainly from Eastern Europe. For obvious reasons, that's where the survivors came from and descendants. 
However, one of one of my number of motivations in doing this was to draw attention to the plight of the of the Jews of Greece who suffered in the Holocaust. And approximately 87% of Greek Jews perished, one of the highest percentages in Europe. And in addition to which, Rhodes Island, where my parents, my father and mother were from, was the southernmost community to be destroyed and as late as by 1944. And so mm -hmm. it's not a story which is uh, necessarily well known in the community. That is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring it to the fore as well. Yeah, and it's so important uh, what you've done. I don't know when you find the time to write a play, Vic Aladef, because I know how hard you um, have been working for the last 16 years, especially for the Jewish Board of Deputies. But maybe we can do a cooking special on uh, some beautiful Greek dishes from your youth, because I know you are very passionate about the your Greek heritage and the, uh, the Jewish community there. So thank you for joining us this week. All of the details of the play, which, Ilan, we could do another date night if you like. We could actually go and have a look at the play, maybe. We'll see. But all of the details are in the newsletter, as well as a lot of interesting articles about our Jewish communities in Ukraine. So sending them all lots of love, sending you all lots of love. Thank you, Vic, for your time today. And, and, and thank you very much for your time and your interest and your support. No problem. We love it. We love it. All right. Thank Everyone. you, Ilan. Thank you very much and welcome back and welcome home everyone. This is Danira.com and uh, see you all soon. Enjoy. See you next week for Purim. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>